Castle Laga Premier Soccer League newcomers are to Pirates are came to Baba Fields for the first time to receive a baptism of fire. So many lessons learned as they get to terms with life in the top league, where in five matches they have lost thrice, drawn once and won as much. Their coach Emmanuel Kutu said Baba Fields was not so sweet a place for Zaire Shukamalaga and they didn't make life any better for themselves, giving the hosts so much respect. Uh, the atmosphere was uh, electric and uh, intimidating. But uh, I think uh, we gave uh, Islanders uh, too much respect uh, in the middle of the park, and uh, we paid dearly for that. Yet the Chekutu side had managed to stand their ground in the first half, holding Poso to a scoreless 45 minutes, even though they were made to sweat almost every minute for that dignity. Surviving an endroom Beba lob that crashed against the crossbar on the ninth minute, it was Pirates to create the match's next dangerous opportunity after Aaron Zangai received a wall pass from Russell Chifura to storm into the Highlanders box, but his cross to link with Klopas Dube was overweighted and the chance had gone. Suddenly, Chekutu grew in confidence. They began to believe as they got balls of backpedaling and Highlanders needed a save from the top shelf by Ariel Sivanda who went airborne to deny Elisha Zulu what looked a certain goal as Pirates sought to steal a shock lead. Boso then reorganized and they would produce the next realistic chance after Linoth Chikua teased his marker wide on the left and exchanging passes with Divine Mindirira, he was able to lay for Brighton Nube whose shot was too mild for any harm. The pressure maintained and Boso pressed on the accelerator with the Linoth Chikua's crosser tipped onto Makinon Mushore's path who let fly a stinger headed off the liner by Meki Meki as Chekutu hung on for dear life. Somehow, they managed to absorb all thrown at them in the first 45 with the agility of their goalkeeper Arnold Muguli to thank after flying high to collect Brighton Nubes' header right at the end of the opening half. So Chekutu Pirates are going to the break encouraged by the nil all stalemate, whilst the Islanders certainly feeling they deserved more from a half that they saw dominated. On resumption, it didn't take Boso a minute to open the scores after Marvelous Chikumira flighted in a tantalizing cross flashed home by Brighton Nubes header and the Pirates were finally broken. Once Boso got into the lead, they had tested Sugar Malaga. It must have been sweet as their dominance grew even bigger. They began to run rings around the Pirates midfield, passing the ball around as they penetrated their opponents to find space, yet to be let down by that final touch. A big game changer for Highlanders was the introduction of young Prince Ndlovo at halftime. The talented teenager came on with the spark to ignite the fire in the Boso strike force and was unlucky to angle his shot across the face of goal with no takers to tap home. Brighton Nube, probably enjoying his best match for Boso since arriving at the beginning of the season, could even attempt the spectacular, though the sting and accuracy to cause Cheku to any problems was missing. An hour gone in the match, Ashford Fire would get going on what would be the match's best move, exchanging delicate passes as he strode upfield. His teammates available as the components of a machine are so efficient it got Fire to the tip of the move, only to be denied by the outstretched leg of keeper Mongoli. Brilliant from Ashford Fire said not culminating in what would have been a contender for goal of the year. 19 minutes into the second half, Aposo doubled the lead again through Brighton Nube after the host circulated the ball on the edge of the Pirates box and with the visitors struggling to clear, the ball fell gratefully onto Brighton's path who pounced with a killing effort far beyond Mkuli's reach. It was 2-0 to Boso. On 77 minutes, the young prince was again tormenting Pirates, this time with what looked an intended cross but trajecting towards the goal only for the agility of Mkuli who had to tip it away as it dipped to nestle in the nets. With Highlanders in total control of the game, Brighton appeared not aware that fluent control could have given him a clear chance at goal, instead giving away what looked a promising chance by bad control after another Prince Ndovo cross. Chekutu Pirates were lucky to escape unharmed when Lenoth Chikua broke clear wide on the right and cutting back to his oncoming teammates Brighton Nube and Rizinspanda, they conspired to miss what looked an easy tap in for Boso's third. Perhaps it's easily said than done. Highlanders were 3-0 up a minute from full time after Prince Ndlovo's inch-perfect cross was turned home by Linoth Chikua to register Boso's third Chikua's second this season. The Boso forward promises plenty this campaign as his celebration went on to suggest this year he is pregnant with goals. So far this season he has delivered two. Chekutu coach Emmanuel Kutu considered defeat acknowledging the role played by the home crowd that made it difficult if not impossible for their technical bench to communicate instructions to their team. When you are bugging instructions, the players cannot hear you properly. Uh, the, the fans, the baby, you say they are passionate, uh, but uh, if you give instructions, the players cannot hear, so you, uh, that's the difference. But uh, when you are playing at home, the players can uh, quickly grasp uh, the instructions.
but here yeah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Maybe you need a, a microphone now <laughs> to give instructions. Highlanders have been watertight at the back, conceding just once in five matches. And coach Kelvin Kaindu gave credit to his predecessor, Baltimore Brito, for laying foundation to what is now a pillar of the team's strength. I also want to thank the last coach that was here. I think he, he made probably my job to be a bit easy in terms of the way that the team was defending. Uh, the fans are there to support the team and we appreciate the support that they are giving us. Uh, it was a chilly day today and I'm sure when they are celebrating it makes it better. So it's five games unbeaten for KK's Highlanders and is it time to start counting up to 19 just like last year or to 23 as in the first time when Kaindu was in charge of Boso way back in 2012. Yet the Zambian coach insists on one at a time hence his mind is not too far away from the five games in the bag. He is simply focused on their next game against Ngezi and Ngezi alone. For the Premier Soccer League at Papa Field Stadium in Ebulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimga.